We're going to gather here today to do three things. We gather to celebrate the end of a horrific war, World War I, where 17,000 people lost their lives. And I would like for us to take 17 seconds, the least we can do, to remember the 17 million people who died. Thank you. We also gather to celebrate the on, uh, and honor the sacrifice of the men and women who have served and who now serve us to guard us against uh, tyr tyranny and save our precious freedom. If you are a vet, I would like for you to raise your hand. Do we have any vets here? Great. I'd like the rest of you to give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank the county for letting us meet here today and, have, and having it at this memorial. It's a constant reminder that some people pay the ultimate price to protect our freedom. A friend of mine is etched in this wall at the back in the Vietnam area. His name is Guy Eflin. He was a friend of mine at Davidson and we miss him. Before we talk about the third thing, I'd like for us to take a minute and pledge allegiance to our flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now let's talk about why, the third reason why we're here, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I want to talk about our country. Everywhere I turn, people are asking questions like, where are we going? What's going on with our economy? How are we going to pay our bills? What are we going to do about ISIS? What's going to happen to Social Security and Medicare? What are the young people going to do for a job? What are we going to do about all the people in prison? Why are companies moving their headquarters overseas to avoid taxes. And the list goes on and on and on. There are naysayers out there who say they want to take our country back. But I say I think we ought to move our country forward. I've tried for the past year to figure out what is the one thing that we could do to solve most, the most of our problems. It sounds like the question from that crusty old cowboy at City Slickers. What is that one thing? The conclusion I came to is putting American jobs first. Put America first. Put it before a cheaper shirt. Put it before trying to solve labor problems in Mexico and Japan. Put America first. Let's have American jobs. Mid, good middle class jobs because when the middle class succeeds in this country we all prosper we are emptying the tank that fuels the economy that makes us prosperous by not having a strong middle class so what do we do we need to protect the jobs that we have enhance the jobs that we keep reclaim the jobs that we lost and create new ones when we have America working, here's what happens. We can eliminate the deficit. We can solve our debt problem. We can save Social Security. We can properly fund our military to keep us safe. Wages will rise. Crime and incarceration will go down. We can fix our infrastructure. We can have more fo folks who can have the dignity of earning their own way. We can probably ed properly educate our children to prepare them for an ever-changing world. We can have good jobs waiting for over 80,000 college students when they graduate from the colleges in this district. And I think we have two college students here today. Raise your hand. Yay. We will be able to afford to be healthy. Our children will not go hungry. Our veterans will be properly cared for. We have 86,000 veterans in the 6th District. 
So how do we do this? We put people in Washington who understand business and will represent the people of this district. We allow community banks to lend to small business and small business creates 75% of the new jobs in this country. We have small community banks in this town, in, in Burlington and Graham, in Alamance County, and all over this district that can't do home loans because they're too complicated. We have to have a world competitive tax structure for our corporations so that they don't try to hide profits overseas. And we have to bring home $2 trillion worth of profit from overseas that, are he that is now held by large corporations, and we can do this with incentives if they bring the money back, if the, and it creates American jobs first. We need to put people in Washington who understand the history of this district. We put people in Washington who fix our economy first before we fix the rest of the world. Do we need to be a bit selfish for a little while I say yes. Without a strong America, the rest of the world falls apart. So let's fix us first. And that's why today I'm declaring as a candidate for Congress from the 6th District of North Carolina. I'm a business... Thank you. I'm a businessman who understands American and international business. I have a business degree from Davidson. I've owned my own business. I've been CEO of a $100 million company. Heck, I've even worked for the Koch brothers consulting on their international business. I served this country for two years before in Vietnam as a company commander, a tour during which I saw a man land on the moon while I was there and my first son was born. I would, like to, I would like for you to entrust me with two more years. But first, I'd like to pay tribute to the service of Howard Coble, who sadly was buried yesterday and seemed like everyone's uncle, and becoming the longest serving congressman in North Carolina history. Now, the flip side of that is I would like for you to help me make our present congressman tie for the shortest term in North Carolina history. Ooh, yeah. Everyone complained about how the Republicans drew these congressional districts to exclude folks. My family has lived and worked in the present bounds of this district since 1840. I was born in Roxborough, raised in Reedsville, have lived and worked in, worked in Elkin, Greensboro, Elon, and Burlington. I have seen the rise and fall of industry here. I have seen Western Electric in Burlington, American Tobacco in Reedsville, Collins and Aikman in Roxborough, the sock business in Mount Airy, Chatham Blankets in Elkin, and the furniture business in High Point slip into the night. We have hardworking people in these 10 counties. They are Guilford, Alamance, Surrey, Stokes, Rockingham, Caswell, Person, Orange, Durham, and Granville. We have 753,000 people that we work together with. And who should we ask for help? And what should the government do? Here's what the government and its founding fathers intended. It intended for the government to promote the general welfare, not provide it, promote it. My ethics professor at UNC Business School told us that the purpose of government was to provide a structure so that everyone could have a job, not give them a job, but provide the structure. So I want to draw some real contrasts between me and our present congressman. He voted to kill the Export-Import Bank, a bank that guarantees loans from foreign countries to American exporters, like GE Jet Engine Plant in Mebane and the Honda Jet Engine Plant in Burlington. It also helps 144 North Carolina companies 
that employ 16,000 people. I would not have voted against the Export-Import Bank, but he did. He is for the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is a trade deal like NAFTA that will cost 200,000 North Carolina jobs. I would never vote against your job. He will. He wants to cut Social Security and Medicare to balance the budget. I will not. I will balance the budget by saving jobs. He will not. He is against same-gender marriage. I am not. He's lived in the district for six years before getting elected. I and my family have been here for 175 years. He goes to church. I do too. I'm a veteran. He is not. He sings great. I do not. <laughs> he doesn't believe that we can help climate change either. I do. He sees little value in the minimum wage. I think it needs to be increased. He wants to overly control women's health choices. I do not. There is a real choice that you get to make in this next election. And it is for your own future and the future of the people around you. I want to make these promises to you. I will always put you first. I will always listen and solve problems together. I will fight the devil like the devil for jobs in this district. I will never vote for a bill asking you to do something that Congress gets excluded from. I believe in term limits, and at my age, I think God probably does as well. I will vote to invest your tax dollars wisely. I want to thank you for being here this morning. I want to thank my life partner, Beth, our, our, our children, including my son, Clay, who is here, who is a veteran, who, by the way, was offered a scholarship to West Point, did take it, and was served us in Bosnia. I want to, uh, as well as my other son, PW, our sons, Will, Jim, and Tom, who are scattered from coast to coast, as they supported me in this effort. I want to thank John Freeman for getting me involved in this. I will miss him. So now, what can you do for this campaign? We need support. We will be outspent by outside PACs, so please go on PeteGlidewell.com and Facebook uh, Pete Glidewell for Congress. And they have uh, give tabs on there. We need your help financially. We need your help spiritually. And we need your voice most of all. We need for you to volunteer and keep your ears to the ground. And we need you to shout from the hills. This is your campaign. It's for your future and for a reasonable government that truly promotes the general welfare. So it is time for me to change from being a citizen to being a candidate. And by putting, if I can get it out of my pocket, on this badge as a candidate, I will work every day for your vote. I want to thank you for being here today. I think God show, uh, smiled on us with this weather that we've been having lately to have a sunshine here. I want to thank the guys back here for holding up and making the signs straight that we couldn't do with wires and, and strange things. Um, so I'll leave you with this thought. To get this done, we need to put American jobs first. American jobs first. American jobs first. Thank you.